6390, New York Approach, Kilo Turn today, advise having it. You can depart LaGuardia VOR today on a 130 for a VOR, runway 13 left approach. For LaGuardia 130 for the VOR 13 left, or 22 left right now. VOR 13 left. 13 left, thanks. Got it. Hello there, guys, and welcome to uh, what was kind of an impromptu uh, video, doing a flight, and I just decided that I'd try and make a video out of it. But uh, anyway, uh, the reason I decided this video is we're actually flying into <coughs> excuse me, London Gatwick, where the weather is pretty abysmal, and the real airport is currently in low visibility procedures. So I'll just read you the meta. We got uh, basically still air, we got 100 degrees at 2 knots. Um, 150 RVR, runway 08 right RVR now is 225, we got fog overcast at 100 with a temperature of 7 and a dew point also of 7 with a QNH of 1027. Um, I didn't realise the weather was like this until I actually just checked the Met off for the arrival, so hence the reason I've just kind of done an impromptu video. But um, yeah, this is going to be kind of interesting before I record it, see what happens. Um, this is my first full flight on P3D version 3. Um, so it should be pretty interesting going into Gatwick. We're going to fly the entire arrival because there are a few aircraft inbound at the same time as us. So just for spacing reasons and simplicity on Unicom, because that's currently where we are on Batsim, uh, it's easier just to fly the full arrival. Uh, the Willow 4 Charlie arrival uh, with the Willow transition, so we're, gonna f we're currently routing towards Holly. As soon as we turn up Goodwood, we're routing towards Holly, and then Willow, and then pretty much a downwind leg for the ILS 08 right. Um, it's not really much to say at the moment, uh, except we need to see what I sign on. And it's, it's going to be borderline auto, full auto land. Could do a full auto land, we'll see. But uh, I'll get back to you further on the arrival. So uh, see you in a minute, guys. Alright then guys, welcome back. We just made the turn over Holly and we're now rooted towards Willow, which is the transition of the arrival. And uh, we passed below the transition level of uh, flight level 60, so because of that we've gone down to 3000 feet and it's on the QNH of 1027. Uh, this isn't a tutorial video, I just uh, seem to end up talking through what I'm doing. I don't know, I just fully understand that. But we have got the landing lights retracted at the moment um, because what I've been told is that they can create a bit of a bit of turbulence, a bit of unstable air underneath the uh, wings because they are literally just flat lights. So uh, I've heard that first hand from some EasyJet pilots that join my streams. If you guys are interested in the streams, link in the description. But uh, anyway, back to this flight. We're going to be fully managed the whole way down. Uh, as I said, we're in managed speed, managed heading, and we are in the managed descent. So you can see our profile there. We've got a glide slope that's already alive because we are it's, uh, we're only 10 miles from the airfield. If we go onto the progress page, we can actually see we're 9.6 miles from the uh, threshold of zero right. Minimums is 400 barrow. Uh, aerodrome elevation here is uh, 216 feet. Uh, 196, so that's probably the other end, 216. Not even certain on that, but 196 feet aerodrome elevation, barrow of 400. So we've got pretty decent minimums. Uh, we're going to have to use the minimums today because of this uh, this weather, but we'll go to break low and we'll also go uh, landing flaps free because that's what we've got our config for. We'll just go ahead and just the approach speed I've always found in this doesn't calculate the approach speed to be entirely accurate. So we'll just bump the approach speed up by two or so knots. Uh, probably end up adding another knot or so on top of that during the arrival, but just for now we'll add add one. I don't know, add one, add two. But uh, yeah, we'll just continue down on the arrival. Now level at 3,000 feet. We could have done a continuous descent, which would have been a bit more economical, because now we're leveling off engines left to spool up to maintain this speed, burning more fuel than we need to. But uh, anyway, we'll continue on the arrival. The Indies were going to glitch out here. There you go. Uh, yeah. So we'll fly a little turn left. There we go. Left turn to make that right turn. Aerosoft. Um, anyway. It's a nice countryside. You're not going to see it for much longer. Don't want to see too much of it, though, to be fair. I've put the, uh, the, the lights, panel lights on. As I was saying, it's pretty bad weather, so it's going to be pretty grey in the fly deck, so 
just for that added bit of realism, I suppose. Have the panel lights on. And now around we go in the right turn. We're intercepting, as I said, at 3,000 feet, so we'll, it'll enter into approach mode at the decel point, and we can uh, extend the flaps accordingly. We'll go flaps 1 before we intercept, and then as we uh, get established on the glide, flaps 2, gear down, flaps 3, and uh, fly the aircraft in. So we go level at 3,000. Not entirely following the arrival because of this left turn, uh, but there's nobody around, there's no control online. I say that as Gatwick Approach will probably pop online now, but nothing, nothing as of yet. I could cut the video now, but I'll probably just keep it in one piece. It's easier for me to edit and I suppose better for you guys to watch when it's not cut into pieces. But anyway, there's excellent D cell, so we'll put stick the land lights out, give us a bit of drag, and we're not doing 250 knots anymore, so that's good. We'll go flaps one, and we'll go into selective speed, and we'll select 180 knots for our maneuvering speed. And we're level flight, so we'll just do 180. Got flaps one, go back into arc on the ND, it's easier to see the route ahead of us. And I'm going to go ahead and arm approach. We are below the glide, so we should, if uh, this profile is correct, capture the localizer before the glide slope. But if, but uh, yeah, we should capture them pretty much simultaneously. Localizer slightly before the glide uh, with this profile. Ground spoilers are not armed, as per from what I understand the EasyJet SOPs are ground spoilers armed with gear down, same with the lights, the uh, nose gear lights are, are put into their positions when the gear goes down. And that is turn offs on, nose light to taxi, not to take off. So, it looks like the sim's frozen but it's not, there's literally nothing to see outside. Now we're about to intercept the glide, uh, sorry, the localizer. Make sure we get Loc Star. There we go, Loc Star. So we captured the localizer, and the glide slope's alive. So we'll descend with the glide. Now we're on the second autopilot now for the redundancy during the arrival. It is going to be Cat One. And there's the sim glitching the lights through of the airfield. And there we go. Fly slope and low style. Let's take it back in. Actually, we'll go 160 to 4. I'm just going to go back to manage, but we'll go 160. Perhaps 2. And we'll just put this on Unicom. There we go. We need to be wary, we have got a BA777, so we've got 41 Charlie who's heading out to for, uh, Orlando. He is taxiing out to Juliet 1, which is the holding point for zero right, so we just want to make sure he doesn't line up. He doesn't know we are on final, so hopefully he follows some kind of etiquette and allows us to land before he departs. But anyway, we're going to bring the speed back to manage now because of uh, the visibility. And with that, we'll go gear down. Flaps free. On the ground spoilers, nose lights, to turn offs, and the taxi light also on. And we'll ding the cabin right before our arrival. Now I'm just going to bump that approach a bit up again, just in case we get a little gust or something. We'll just go with one more knot. Doesn't make that much of a difference, but it's enough to sometimes not give us the speed warnings. As I said, visibility on the runway is 225, oh sorry, it's 275 now. So there's 
very slightly, um, but nothing to really shout about. It's only an extra 50 or so feet. Oh, sorry, meters, it's visibility. One thousand. Checked. We can fully auto land this, we might as well leave it to fully auto land. Hardly ever land the Airbus in auto land situations, so we might as well just leave it by itself in. It'll actually be a nice test of the auto land system on the Aerosoft Airbus. Just keep an eye for this BA. Uh, triple seven. And the BA has just told me that he is holding at Juliet One. Five hundred. Stable. Four hundred. Lovely weather in London. Land green on the FMA. All we have to do is idle the thrust levers. Three hundred. Get the hundred above now. Hundred above. Checked. Can't even see that BA. He's off to the left somewhere over here. Two hundred. Minimum. Continue. There he is. One hundred. Seventy. Sixty. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. <coughs> twenty. Ten. Retard. Five. There we go. Ground spoilers. Reverse is green. And we do have diesel. Set reverses, and your brakes. Take next uh, exit to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at our destination on schedule. The cabin crew will surely be released from the position for safety related duties. However, we can be asked to remain seated with the seatbelt security. That was interesting. So on the ground spoilers, bring the flaps back in. Well, I've got to say this is probably the worst uh, weather I've ever landed in a flight sim. Anyway. We'll taxi Juliet right on uh, Romeo or Quebec and we'll taxi up to stand 554. Like Wouldn't mind seeing this BA depart, he's just supported on Unicom that he, he is departing. Pretty cool to see that. Not that I think we will be able to see it with this weather. Yeah, there we go. It's be a sight if we do get a glimpse of him. I just hold here for a second just to get that view. Yeah, 
Come on. Don't want to burn more fuel than we need to. We are easy jet after all. I just have to move. Yeah, let's get going. He's probably already gone, we've just missed him in the fog. He might have rotated quite early. Don't know. Eh, it's a shame. Really nice. There we go, let's go back. Now, I'm not going to taxi very fast, as I said they are in LVPs at the moment, so we are going to taxi slightly slower than usual. Crazy this fog. Active sky next and wreck soft clouds. I don't know if the clouds have any influence on this like fog mist that we've got, but it looks amazing. Can't even see the, the terminal there. I know that unless they're somewhere. It's down 110, but rip. <laughs> and the bridge as well. Where's the bridge? Hopefully there's nobody on our stand, but we're going to stand 554. We'll have, a, have to have a look, see if there's anybody on it. Otherwise, we'll just go up to the 570s. Uh, which are actually 557, I think, on on this scenery. It hasn't been updated to the new layout of Gatwick, North Terminal at least. We've got 553 here, and then we've got round the corner 554. There's the terminal. Nice to see it. It'd be interesting if we came an aircraft coming out of the fog towards us. BH 777s tend to park up here, so that'd be an interesting head to head confrontation. But anyway, thanks for like come off. We're turning onto this stand here, 554. There's nobody on it, which is nice. It's so foggy. And we'll use the SEG to park. We use GSX, but he'll appear as a marshal, and we don't want the marshal. Here we go. Stop. If you bleed on. Engine 2, and engine 1 can go. Anti collision seatbelt signs off, transponders off, rover radar and terrain is off. Get rid of everything. And request deboarding to come out and sort us out. Uh, 38 minutes 28 seconds and 51 minutes. Nice. You can have his tryout if he wants. 
Anyway, ground connections can be set. The gate should be coming out. Here it is, it's arrived. And we'll have to take the power. Pack 2 is off. We need one pack on for the air conditioning. And other than that, that was uh, a full... <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. Probably the worst weather you could get to fly in, in terms of visibility and what not. Not much turbulence, as I said, still air, but pretty fun arrival nonetheless. So, just have a look at the aircraft on the outside. Still there, which is nice. So, that was Alpha X-Ray, Echoes of Alpha X-Ray. But, um, yeah, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, as always, leave a like and a subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, I'm always open to video suggestions, so please, providing there's pretty decent scenery and it's worth my while doing the video and it's worth enough people wanting to watch it, comment in the scripts, comment in the description, comment in the comment section below. Other than that, hopefully I'll see you on the Twitch, which is in the description for the live stream. So, Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.